In this video I'd like to show you how to cover a yarn wrapped ball with thread in a quick and easy manner to make a Japanese tamari ball. The goal here is to give you a really good surface for stitching. Um, a nice thick coated thread that's made quickly and it's, um, so your stitches are going to hold really well. You can see here I'm wrapping with a lot of cones at once. There are eight cones of thread down there. Um, I'm going to make a black ball so I have four black cones and four assorted other colors. Um, there were some browns and grays. As far as the colors go, uh, it doesn't really matter. Just keep them about in the same tone. So say like for this one, you wouldn't want to put a white thread in there because that would be really hard to cover up later. So try to keep them in, in a similar color anyway. Um, and this is called power wrapping. So we're going to wrap it quickly. Um, right now I've got kind of a medium tension going on the ball, not pulling it too tightly. Um, Wrapping right across the middle, turn the ball, wrap across the middle, and turn the ball. You want it to be a random wrap, so you don't have um, a lot of threads running parallel. They're all kind of going this way and that to give you a nice mixed up surface for the tamari ball. Stop now and again and mold it round like, a, like you would a snowball or a meatball, somebody told me once. Um, and then just keep wrapping. You want um, the power wrapped layer with all of these threads are going to uh, cover most of the color, most of the yarn surface, so most of the white color there will be covered up. And when you're getting a, a good layer of thread, pause for a minute and go ahead and cut off half of the threads. So now I'm going to cut off the um, colored threads, the brown and the gray, and leave just the black for wrapping. And whatever color you've chosen for the base color for your tamari ball, this will be um, the color that you're wrapping now. And since I'm wrapping with black, now I've got four cones of black going. And you can see it's really covering covering the ball now and getting that good black color. And when you've done with the four wraps, four cones, and your power wrapping layer is done, the surface of the ball is going to feel fairly smooth. All those lumps and bumps and little valleys are going to be evened out. And the yarn layer will be totally covered at that point. You won't see any of the white yarn. And then you cut away um, all the cones except one. And now I'm down to a single thread using the same technique. I'm wrapping quickly with quite a bit of tension right here to firm up the surface of the ball and right across the middle of the ball. And once your power wrapped layer is all covered, you've got enough thread on the ball and it's time to end off. So um, just cut your thread free from the cone, thread up a needle, and take some stitches around the ball just in a random fashion, no particular order, no particular place. And when you get to the end, simply take your needle off the thread and cut it free, right at the surface of the ball, and then you're finished. Mm -hmm.